They must be mega. <laughs> but Daddy, I still want to be in the photo. <laughs> okay, go away. Go on, go play. I'll come play with you in a minute. I'm coming in a minute, I promise. I've just got to do one more video. Go on. Okay guys, Mitch here again from MJB Seminars where you liberate, empower and inspire yourself to be the greatest example of your creation. Now it's just before New Year's and it's normally around about this time that people are you know, saying to themselves that you know, they want to create a New Year's resolution. The problem with resolutions is that they normally become revolutions and every year they keep making these commitments to themselves and feeling ultimately within two or three weeks that they're not able to achieve the things that they set out to achieve. So so I want to be able to just give you a couple of tips to make sure that you don't disappoint, disappoint yourself with that. So the first thing I'll say to you is, is that most people at this time of year are generally what they're doing is, you know, they're, they're just partying, having a great time, they're setting their sights on, you know, it's the silly season, I'm not really going to get back into work until after the 26th or after Australia Day, and they feel, you know, over these next three or four weeks I'm just going to blow myself up and have a lot of fun and da 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 da. I'm not saying not to do that. What I am saying to you though is that the people who really excel in, in this world and in life use this time off really wisely. You have to have fun. I demand that. You have to make sure that you're enjoying yourself. I also demand that. You've got to have fun. Make sure you're enjoying yourself. But one of the key things I'd say to you at this point is this. Set time now around about the 5th, 6th or 7th of January to plan the year. Now our guys with our team, this is a planning time for us. It's it's really, really, really where we put a lot of time and focus into making sure that we have a clear plan of action for next year. And the whole plan of action is always based around how can we be of greater assistance, how can we add more value, whose lives are we going to touch, how are we going to get the word out there, and ultimately how are we going to get our, all of the people that we touch their lives to that one point where we get them to shift that innermost dominating thought and create the lives that they want to, that they want to achieve. You know, it was literally about seven years ago, I'm away, I'm on an island, I'm on a five-star resort, I'm on an island, I'm with Ange, and I meet this Australian guy, and he was basically running the surf on the island. I get talking to him, we became very close over a two-week period, and we're, we're out one night, and I'm talking to him about what I do, and I said to him, how did you get here? He said, everything was against me, Mitch, about coming to this, to this job and living on this island. But he said to me, Mitch, I met a South African guy who sat down with me one night, and he made me pull out a piece of paper and a pen and he brought it to the top of the page proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance permanently and what he did was he then said to me okay plan it out and he got me to plan my life out not just next year he got me to plan my life out for the next 70 years and he said Mitch I have that plan up on my toilet door and I read it to myself myself all of the time so remember that statement proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance permanently so this year guys so that it does become a repetitive cycle that you're you're wishing the same changes year in year out but achieving nothing make sure that this year you're really really able to set your sights and set your goals at an early stage around about the 5th 6th or 7th of January guys I love talking to you if this is gonna sh touch someone else's life please share it on Facebook please feel free to tweet it and I want you to do something for me let's continue this conversation I want you to go into the comment section and I want you to tell me what some of your goals dreams and aspirations are for next year. What is your plan? Don't be afraid to take it from the metaphysical and formalize it. And when we type, we take it from the metaphysical and we formalize it, we give it life. So please feel free to use us as an avenue for you to be able to get it from the inside out. Remember, love is the only way, love is all there is, live life inspired. Take care, bye bye. Okay, what did you get daddy for Christmas? Daddy's mega kiki. <laughs> <laughs> now what did you really get me for Christmas? Daddy's mega naked! Daddy's mega, mega naked! naked!